Hello, today I am going to show you how to work on API Gateway, Lambda function in Python and DynamoDB. So, for this, first login AWS account. I have already logged in AWS account. Now, create a table, DynamoDB table. So, I am creating it. Create table, table name, a suppose table name is student, H D U D and uh, part, you have to give a partition key, uh, primary key and the suppose primary key is H T U student ID, okay and uh, type of the primary key is stream, so create Table has been created here. You can see the student. Now the next step is create a lambda function using Python. So before creating a lambda function, we need to do something in IAM. Uh, we we need to. I am showing you. First, we have to create a policy. So here, policy. Uh, create policy. In policy, use the serv uh, Select the service. My service is because we are. I am going to work on DynamoDB. So, DynamoDB. Action all resources. All resources. This is optional, so I am skipping this. Review policy. Name the policy. Uh, suppose I am giving the policy name Dynamo DB or create policy. A policy has been created. Okay. Entity already exists. Dynamo DB all policy. No policy has been created. Yeah. Now we need to create a role. So that I'm clicking on role and create role. Here I'm creating role for lambda function. So lambda next permission and next search the permit search the policy which we have created our, our policy was dynamo db all dynamo db all policy uh, this is optional step so i am skipping this the next is name role name dynamo db all role whatever you, you can give whatever you want my role is created so next step is creating a lambda function using python so for this go in services type lambda create function order from a sketch we are going to create from sketch here a student student lambda student lambda okay and the python 3.6 and the choosing here we have created role so selecting role to an existing role and the role is dynamo all role 
which we have created just before create function congratulations sorry lambda okay now here you have to you have to focus on handler here look lambda function is this lambda function and uh, the method this is the method lambda handler lambda handler method because we need to connect to dynamo db so we we need to import boto 3 i'm showing you the photo 3 documentations dynamo db creating new item look first imported boto 3 next um this this command dynamo db boto 3 resource i'm copying and pasting it to here dynamo db boto 3 and the next is to creating a table because we are using dynamo db so we have uh, boto 3 resource dynamo db now after uh, for creating a table table equal dynamo db dot table the table name table name i have student table name students i'm copying it copying it student table name um i need to do the post request so just a minute the post request here um uh, here it is the post request creating new item so copy it from here item event equal sorry item equal to event and in return body give some code and code 200 message something student has been started <coughs> okay now save it finally now we need to create a api gateway creating api gateway So API gateway. Great API. Um, we are working for REST. So REST and new API. API name is student. Student API two because I have already created one. And this will in point type original get API. Now I have to create a resource resource name student create resource. Sorry, sorry. Create API, sorry.
Good. Good. Now the create a method. Um, method type is post method. Okay. No. Here we have to give the function name lambda function name. Our lambda function name is student lambda. So give the student lambda function. Select and add permission for lambda function. Okay. So we have created our lambda. Now check lambda function. If it is showing correct. So it is showing the same as we have created. Now back to here and test my lambda function. Go to test here. In request body, you have to enter the name of the primary key. Okay, primary key. This is the primary key and type of this student. So, in API gateway, first the primary key and because it's type wise student, so I'm giving a value. Suppose anything 101 is 101. Next students student name and this value is suppose Anuj student location Bihar. Now test it. Look, student has been inserted. So, check the two database items. Here, student has been insert inserted. Student ID 101, location Bihar, and student name Anuj. Now, I am showing you to how to deploy it. So, go to API Gateway. Action deploy API deployment stage new stage and stage name anything dev and development development work here we have post method so using post now copy this link and open postman Restarting down. <coughs> now it's open. Enter the URL here. Enter here the URL which I have copied. Just this is the URL, so enter here. This is the and I am using the post method. So post right in body student ID student ID. Student ID is one two three four five. 
intento en Amon Phone Pues no en el sentido Here also student has been inserted the no error not check into database refresh look student 12345 has been inserted name student with phone number okay thank you